just wanted to do a review for you on Max Playland collection that just released today. Um, I picked up a few products um, from Nordstrom, um, but just to give you an overview of the collection, it's a very um, bright colors in this collection. It's a lot of like hot pinks and corally colors with um, one strange color mixed in, which is like a sunshine yellow. I didn't pick up that color because I have no use for something like that, um, but it is very pretty. But let me show you what I got. So I'm going to start with lip glosses. Um, these are the three lip glosses I got. Um, they are, of course, all very pink and kind of uh, a sherbet color in that last orange one. Um, but I thought these were all very, very pretty and very wearable. Um, and that's kind of what I look for in new products when I buy them. I don't want to buy something that I will only wear once or twice. I like to buy things that I can mix them up with multiple um, different looks in different outfits. So, so this first one I'm going to show you. This is called Pure Silliness. And this is just gorgeous. It's very, very pretty. Um, this color is very similar to Silly. Um, if you got this from a few collections ago um, that MAC released. But I feel like this is a little darker. So if you don't have Silly and you really wanted it, um, this is a great substitute for that. This next color I'm going to show you. This is called Carousel. This is a very light pink with cool undertones. Uh, it very much reminded me of St. Germain um, when I first saw it, but um, St. Germain is a lot lighter um, than this one. So if St. Germain was, you know, too light for your skin tone, um, then this is a great substitute for it. The last one is called Lots of Laughs. And this is um, just like a warm orange sherbet color that I really love and I thought would be really great for an Easter outfit or for spring. Um, it's just very fun. All three of them are actually very fun and playful colors. So I'm really excited about them and I can't wait to try them. All right, now on to the lipsticks. So this first one I picked up, it's called Happy Go Lucky. And this is actually already sold out on the website. I can't believe it. Um, the MAC website, that is. So it's this color right here. It has cool undertones, and it's just fun to wear. Um, again, another wearable color um, if you wanted a pop of color, if you had a neutral eye or anything. But um, this color I really liked. There were a total of seven lipstick colors, I believe it was. So I felt that only these two that I'm a that I'm showing you um, were worth purchasing for me just because I have a whole bunch of other MAC lipsticks and I felt the other ones um, matched other ones that I had. So this one, this one right here is called Toying Around. And I picked this one up because it was a very unusual coral color. Um, it was the, I feel it's the perfect amount of red and orange um, combined for my uh, skin tone. So I just loved it. I have, I don't think I have anything like this. Um, maybe a NYX lipstick um, that is similar. Yeah, so I thought, again, this was just a fun wearable color and uh, it spoke to me so I definitely had to pick it up. So there are a couple other things that you can get in the collection. Um, there are a bunch of pigments that you can get and chromographic pencils and then there are uh, casual colors, which is kind of something new that MAC is doing. Um, they are uh, almost in paint pots, but a lot bigger, and you can use those on your cheeks or on your lips. Um, it's almost similar to the NARS Multi Stick, except you can't really use it on your eyes. Um, but the, the colors, there are three colors, um, they're all very pretty. There are two, there's almost like a nude color, a soft pink, and again, kind of uh, like a soft corally sherbet color um, that's a bit darker than this one right here. Um, I saw them, but I didn't really, I wasn't drawn to picking them up for some reason. I just, 
I like um, cream blushes, but for some reason when I want to reach for a blush, those aren't the blushes that I first reach for. So um, I have a bunch of them just sitting in my drawers that I don't really use. They are still very pretty, so if you like cream blushes, then um, definitely check those out, but I just don't have um, a need for them. Anyway, so I hope this uh, mini review was helpful for you guys. I will have more um, swatches and kind of an in-depth review on these um, colors on my blog. I will individually put these colors on and take pictures so you guys can see what they look like on my face. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry if this was if you felt this was rushed, but um, it's late and I just came from the gym and I just took a quick shower and threw some clothes on, so that's why I have absolutely no makeup on. Um, so, so yeah, forgive me for that, but I wanted to get this video out for you guys so you guys can check out the products tomorrow or this weekend before they sell out. So again, I hope this was helpful, and if you guys get anything, please let me know. I'd love to know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys next time.